All right, today we're going for the green arrow look. Uh, unfortunately, the jacket I have is a bit of a knockoff one, unlicensed at least, so it doesn't quite have the same uh, magic. Uh, it is a little more brown than green, but here we go. At least we have an arrow costume. Uh, I'm using the Mandarin Duck Strider today. I uh, haven't used it for a while. It's a nice blue bow in this case. Um, hopefully it works all right. I haven't stored it very well and the uh, adhesive on the rest coming off so it might fly after in shooting. But hopefully it should be okay. Oh, and the quiver for today to match the look is the Mandarin Duck Dragonborn. So we do have a Mandarin Duck set, but Mandarin Duck Bow, Mandarin Duck Quiver. Makes sense. Huh, I kind of regret putting a rest on this bow. It's really meant to be shot off the shelf, but didn't have a shelf rug, so we're gonna shoot off the rest. I mean, it worked last time, right? Should work all right this time. Oh, that's a fast bow. <laughs> uh, four to five pound, by the way. Uh, I draw a little shorter, so it's around oh, 40, 42 pound. So it's still a decent bow. It's a shorter bow, so it feels like it stacks a little sooner, but it's quite compact and quite punchy. Ooh. Okay, that's that's surprising. I guess because the, the slot is shorter length makes it uh, a little punchier. Whereas the other bows I have with the same draw length that are a little gentler on the draw. That looks alright. And for the most part, I mean, we're grouping really well, despite the fact that we're not really aiming. We're only shooting short distance instinctive, of course, but uh, the bow is really, really efficient. So uh, that punches arrows out quite quickly. Not bad. All right, I'm gonna switch arrows. The uh, arrows I was using before, the gold tips, the uh, knocks are too wide and the string is too um, thin. So there's a bit of a safety hazard with the arrows coming off. Uh, a little dry fire danger. So I'm using my longer arrows, the alley bows, because they've got tighter knocks. So that should be fine with this bow. Plus they're rated right to the same spine anyway. So we shouldn't have a problem. There we go. It's still a little thin. That's a very thin serving. I've noticed, and I think the even with the thin knock, uh, that's the perfect size, but these are very tight knocks. So uh, just be mindful when you are buying arrows, you don't always know how thick the serving is, and you might have to um, replace the serving or thicken it up with something else. There we go, that's fly better. Oh, well, bad shot. Nice. Tell you what, um, I know people would like to go on about back quivers and how they might in theory be faster, but it, the act of reaching around to grab an arrow is actually physically, not say exhausting, but there's a bit more effort in reaching back and getting it compared to having a hip quiver. So I don't think it's easy or faster. Hmm. All right, not a big fan of this, but uh, hood up this time. I know people say you should wear a hat or a cap with this. I know that that works, but we're having a costume. You don't see Arrow wearing a cap beneath his hood, right? So we've got to make it work somehow. Yeah, that, that side keeps coming back down. That's, that's okay with most hoods. You've you got to um, work around that. Oh, I missed that shot. Yeah, that hood looks good. But I still think that unless you have a way to secure it, using a cap or something else, they're not practical shooting. Very much, I think, uh, a movie thing. Looks good on camera. Uh, otherwise... A little impractical. And also, it heats up a lot when you're shooting a leather jacket. <laughs> it's not like a hot day today, but 
Uh, that's warming up. You don't, you don't ventilate very well. Oof. All right, put down. It's getting annoying. I mean, that's good for the first few shots, but uh, I think we'll do one more pose with the camera. But I think the, uh, the shooting is going to be hood, hood down. That's so much easier. Ugh. All right, let's do a few shots of the thumbnail, of the hood up, oh, uh, and then we'll put it down after like three. So uh, you might as well enjoy shooting and not be frustrated about trying to wear a costume. Oh dear. Oh goodness, I'm shooting terribly with that. Yep, okay, hood down. I know, grouped at least, but um, I'm definitely having uh, monocular vision rather than binocular. Happened last time with the uh, the other hoodie, uh, and last time I was shooting with the um, thumb draw, so I couldn't see the arrow at all. So at least this time I can still see the arrow, uh, but with the binocular vision, you get you you lose that 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 vision, and you end up shooting well off to the side. And most people who start doing archery start you shooting with one eye, at least when they're doing it self-taught. So they shoot one eye and they get used to it because they, when, they, when they use two eyes, they see two targets and you get used to combine them together for one target. But you're meant to learn to shoot two eyes um, sooner rather than later. Because not everyone does though. Some people shoot, only shoot one eye, that's fine. But uh, the vast majority shoot with two. Okay, All right, now we'll uh, unzip the uh, the jacket because it's, it's kind of comfortable. Put it that way. Um, it's cool, yes, but a little uncomfortable. Keep it on. I'll take the back people off. It's reaching around. It's getting a little annoying. That's how it is. Um, you can wear this as a hip quiver, by the way. I don't have the belt with me right now, but you can convert it to a, a, a hip quiver. Uh, I might just improvise for now. Uh, what can I do? Yeah, good enough. What I'm doing. Oh, and part of shooting a slightly heavier draw weight, again, 45 is not heavy, but you've got to maintain back tension. You've got to make sure that you um, expand, you don't get um, controlled by the bow, and uh, it's a very satisfying bow to shoot, nice oomph, but you've got to remember to keep the shot going. By the way, my makeshift uh, quiver looks pretty good here. I've got the, um, you can't see, but I've got one of the, the buckles hooked onto my, my belt buckle, so um, it's awkward. But at least it's on the hip and uh, I really do think that this is much easier than reaching over the back of your, your neck. Alright, let's do a few from this angle. I think I've placed the target a little closer than normal. I think I was filming something before and didn't move the target, so that's alright. At this distance, it's a matter of it's like 6 metres or 7 metres. It's more or less exactly the same. Oh, nice. Remember, the front arm doesn't ke just keep the bow still, it must push forward with the shot. Tired there. Eh? Like we said, it's easy to um, get a little carried away with uh, shooting very quickly. We have lots of arrows. Just slow down every now and then. Shots don't count if they're poor shots. Beautiful. Now we're using back at the very end, of course. Beautiful. Anyway, battery is running out. Hope you enjoyed that. Great shooting, jacket, a little uncomfortable. 
Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.